Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Stephen here in Catech Telescopes. Today we're gonna to run through one of the more popular scopes that we sell and one that surprises a lot of people when they see the size of it when they come into the shop. And it's this, the Skyliner 200p, the eight inch classic Dobsonian. Um, yeah, it's bigger than you think it is, but it's also deadly. Let's give it a run through. Right, here it is. This is their Skyliner 200p Dobsonian. Um, very, very easy to use telescope. Swivels on the base like this and pivots up and down like so. You can adjust the tension of how stiff it is on the handle here and you can also adjust the tension of the azimuth with some 17mm nuts that are down below there. It comes with a rack and pinion focuser with a 1.25 inch or 2 inch eyepiece holder and a 9x50 finder scope that slots out, slots in and obviously it comes with a 200mm or an 8 inch mirror. It's a reflector, um, it's an incredibly popular scope simply because decent size, it's incredibly easy to use, it's incredibly easy to set up and it's easy enough to move around the house to inside and outside and all of that. In order to take the telescope off the tube, off the, the base, all you gotta do is unscrew the two handles, put them in your pocket, and lift the telescope out exactly like that. So carry the telescope out first, bring out the base, and then screw the handles back in again. It's not really what I call a portable telescope as in put it in the car and take it somewhere um, it does take up a reasonable amount of space in a car like this guy once you build him you generally tend to leave him built he'll take up a passenger space or a good bit of space in the boot and then the tube obviously if it fits in the boot brilliant otherwise it goes across the back seats so it's not really what I would call massively portable but I do know a lot of people that do move them around and bring them to events and that so they are popular for that the focal length on the telescope is 1200 millimeters, so it's fairly good at the planets. It gives you decent enough magnification. It's all, but it excels really at the deep sky stuff. It being an eight inch f6, you know, it tends to give kind of decently wide views, decently bright views of all the deep sky objects and that. And then it does the job at the planets. You know, if you wanted to get a scope that particularly did planets, you would pick a different type of a telescope. But this is in general a good all rounder. When you get the telescope delivered, you get two boxes. The first box is with the tube in it, a bit of foam around the top and the bottom, keeps it reasonably safe. And the other one is the base of the scope here, which is flat pack. Once you build the base, it's generally not recommended that you keep like any flat pack furniture, taking it apart and putting it back together. You can do it a couple of times though. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to put it together. Um, uh, it's, it's easy enough to get together as well. And you can literally be observing within, you know, a half an hour of getting this thing delivered to the house. Um, again, we always recommend that you set it up and get it working during the daytime. Get pointed at an object, obviously not anywhere near the sun, a distant object, get used to focusing it, get your finder scope aligned, stuff like that. Get used to switching the eyepieces in and out. Um, but you will not find really an easier telescope to use than a Dobsonian. There's also a 150mm available. And just over here on the other side of me here, you can see the 12 inch, that's a 12 inch go-to one. And um, the whole range of the, the Skyliners go from the 150 mil, just slightly smaller than this, all the way up to the 16 inch. And actually there's a Stargate version that's even bigger again. And um, they are the most cost effective way of getting big aperture. And that's why they tend to be such popular telescopes. There is also an eyepiece accessory tray here that takes one two inch or three 1.25 inch eyepieces so you can always keep them kind of handy enough and for moving the base around there's a grab handle down the bottom as well so again that just helps you move it around and stuff like that so this telescope like most of the Skywatcher telescopes comes with two eyepieces the 1.25 inch size eyepieces one of them is a 10 mil that gives you 120 by and the other one is a 25 mil that gives you 48 by. So this would be the one that you would use for finding objects and locating them, and for the, the deeper sky targets if you want the wide bright views, and this one would be for your higher magnification, 
better views of the moon and the planets and that. Obviously the telescope takes higher magnification or lower magnification eyepieces as well and you can see these eyepieces on the website. You can attach a DSLR camera to it fairly easily. All you need is your camera specific T-ring and that's it. The adapters that come with the telescope If they come out, you just split them, put this piece in your pocket, we don't need him. And all you need to do is screw the T-ring onto the 2 inch adapter that you're left with, put it into the focuser, tighten it up nice and tight, and then get your DSLR camera and slot it on exactly like you do when you're putting on one of your lenses. So this is it, our Skyliner Classic 200. Video gives you an idea of the size of the scope. A lot of people will be wondering just how big it is. If you like the channel, subscribe to us, like it, follow the page, and get ready for all the rest of the videos. Cheers.